Hi there! Welcome to the Gardens and Graveyard channel. My name is Charisma and today we're meeting in the studio and we're going to make an autumn flavored flower arrangement. Um, we did a bunch of flower arrangements early summer, late spring for the Tibetan monks that came to our town to impart their wisdom with us. Now it is the fall and the Tibetan nuns are here in our county and I am on the volunteer um, Friends of Tibet's uh, group and my main job is to provide flower arrangements for the ceremonies and rituals that the monks and the nuns bring to our community to share with us their culture and impart, you know, some of their spiritual wisdom with all of us. So today I have a whole collection of beautiful flowers that I picked up um, both from the grocery store and from my garden. And we're going to just work with what we've got here and just really make a really beautiful, bright, fall, colorful flower arrangement. Today's ceremony is the open ceremony for the events that will unfold through the weekend. And the nuns will be doing a sand mandala, which I will capture some of that for you all um, as the weekend goes and share with you in future videos. But the sand mandala has many, many colors. It's very colorful, very vibrant, um, like energetically alive art that they do um, and so I'm really excited to see how that unfolds but I wanted to kind of lean into that idea while I'm making this flower arrangement. So with all flower arrangements we always begin with our greenery so we really want to make um, our flower arrangement look really full with beautiful greenery. Since it's the fall, I really wanted to lean into those autumn tones and colors. So I found um, some lovely, strong branching greenery from my burning bush. And this, this plant will turn bright, bright red in full sun. My shrub is in kind of part sun. So at this point in the season, it has just started to turn and which is perfect for flower arranging because once it turns completely red, um, those leaves are pretty tender and they'll just kind of start falling off the stem because that's the last thing that they're going to do is turn bright red and then defoliate, right? So having these um, leaves just a touch orangey red is perfect for a flower arrangement. I always want to ensure that I don't have any leaves below the water surface because they will just rot and get the water all slimy. So I'm going to actually go ahead and put some water. I have this vintage pitcher here with me. It's nice and heavy glass and it has that golden fall color. I have some distilled water here and a floral food packet, which I picked up at some grocery at some point. Um, they always give you way more than you need, so I always save the packets. We just put that in there and the water in here. The food dissolves. And then I don't want to fill it completely full because we're going to be putting stems in there. And once the arrangement is totally done, I'll top it off with some fresh water. So like I said, to begin with, we're going to start with the foliage. I do need some snips. So I'm just going to um, take off any leaves below the rim of the container. Just like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that with all of these.
Okay, so then the next piece of greenery that I have are some peony leaves. Um, and the peony leaves are just about at the edge of their life. So we're going to kind of pick through them and see what we can save. Just entangle them here. Oh, it's falling apart. Something's falling apart. So we'll look at that. Okay. All right, so these are the peony leaves that I have. You can see this one is really not looking that great. So we're definitely going to take that off. And uh, anything that kind of looks really dead. The ones that have a nice bright color, we're going to keep those. So, uh, let's see, this one's tall. Like them. Um, but they're kind of short, so we're just going to give them a fresh cut and put them on the edge of the container. So again, we just look and there's the ones that are really, really looking super damaged. We're just going to get rid of those. We can also selectively just pinch off the ones that have a lot of brown and leave the other pieces if they look okay. Okay, so that is pretty good and full with all of the fall foliage there. Um, and now I'm going to put my, uh, let's see, and we want to go with what we have the least of that are big. So we have these, um, what are these called? Succulents. These are Autumn Joy Sedums that have turned. So they're these beautiful burgundy colors. They've got pine needles on them. <laughs> they catch all of my pine needles. Um, and so they've been sitting out for a little while so they're cured and they don't have any more juice coming out. So we're just going to go ahead and put these in there. Um, okay, I put them like this. I've just got a couple. I have a ton, but I just wanted to give this some fun fall big bo big pops of 
deep red. Okay, and then the next ones that I don't have very many of are the Snapdragons and the Black Eyed Susans, but those are going to be more like fun little essence, right? So what I want to do next is put in the sunflowers because they're fairly decent size. And um, I think I'll be cutting much off of here because I want to give this arrangement some height. Okay, that looks pretty good. <laughs> the, the, get it stuck in there where I really want it. There we go. Okay, then um, the next thing that I have are these little guys and I'm not entirely sure what they are. They might be a type of uh, chrysanthemum. This one's falling apart. So we're gonna, any ones that look damaged, I'm taking off. Any leaves, I'm gonna take off. Um, in a smaller arrangement, you could take each individual one apart uh, so that you have individual little flowers. But I've got a few clusters in here, so I'm gonna just use them like this for impact. Um, but the leaves look a little worse for rare, so I'm just gonna take those off. And uh, around kind of supporting the sunflowers. I think these give the arrangement a really fun architectural element. Okay, then I'm gonna save this one to be down lower. Um, I think just this. Now, the next amount that we have, good size amount, are these uh, mums, and they are just a fun autumn, kind of a golden 
peachy, I don't even know what color that is. What is it? Like sunset kind of color. ones here. Take them off. Take this. 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 Okay. This. And just that's a fun little spray. Okay, then we have another kind of chrysanthemum, and it's a lot more yellow with some burgundy eyes. Wonderful. All right, so let's clean this up a little bit. Move into the next one. So next, let's go ahead and keep going with our yellow category. I've got these Black Eyed Susans from my garden, and they're a lot more airy than the mums and the sunflowers. So. I don't have a lot of them. I'm just going to kind of stick them as like a little bit of a spray. do have one little sunflower left from my own garden so I do want to add that in there just as a little nod to growing sunflowers okay so the next thing that I have are snapdragons so we're gonna put, put those in there make sure that we're not losing any petals and just fill in some gaps. So, got that there.
Okay, very good. So then I just have a couple of dahlias now. This one has completely fallen apart, so we don't want that one. Um, oh, it's just a, okay. Make sure that there's no earwigs because my dahlias are prone to earwigs. And we just have, let's see, one, two, three. So, Awesome. Okay, so um, I do have some white, but I don't think I want to add white into this one. It does brighten it up. Let's just play and see how it looks, or we could save these for another arrangement. Um, they need to be cleaned anyway, so may as well. Just kind of play with it. Wonderful. The last two pieces that I have are these little fillers and this looks like it's celosia. So we're just gonna, gonna stick them in here.
Okay, with a couple of little adjustments with my eyes on the front of the arrangement, which helps. This is the final result. And it looks nice from all directions. Um, even the back looks okay. So if it's, if somebody walks behind it, it still looks pretty. It just doesn't look as fantastic as the front. But that's it. So we've got sunflowers and chrysanthemums and black-eyed Susans and sedum and dahlias and snapdragons and uh, several different mums, burning bush, peony leaves, celosia. Beautiful. So that's going to do it for today's video. I'll make sure that I share um, our future flower arrangements with you as the week goes along. And of course, I'll give you little um, snippets of what's going on with the nuns and um, share the Mandela with you um, as it grows. And then yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you were inspired to make something beautiful for the fall, and I hope you're celebrating your life. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.